Hi guys. guys, hope you are doing well and have a good time. We are back again with another video and this time it's all about saving your money. Yeah, so it's all about saving your money on your car insurance in Canada. As you all know, uh, if you don't know, I'll tell you, here in Canada, insurance cost is so, so expensive that every month you don't spend that much in your car that you spend in your insurance cost so it's important that you know how you can save your insurance cost so that every month you spend less guys uh, we'll start our video with a few points that could help you in saving a lot of money when you are getting your car insurance done so without further ado let's start the video The first and the foremost point is your type of driving license. So as you know that there are three kinds of driving license. We have already discussed it in our previous video. We'll share the link above. So uh, that's G1, G2 and G. So if you are driving uh, with the G2 license, so you have to pay a little bit more for your insurance cost. And if you have G license, your insurance cost reduces approximately by 10%. So guys, the basic difference between G2 and G license is that G is considered more experienced than G2 driver. So better if you come here to Canada, go for a G license. So guys, there is a disclaimer that the video which we are making right now is for the people who reside in Toronto or who are coming here and landing in Toronto and planning to stay here. And in Quebec or other provinces, they have different kinds of licenses and different rules and regulations. All right, guys, coming to the second point on how you can save money in car insurance in Canada is going for a simple cruise or SUV or CUV, whichever you like, but not going for a sports car and not choosing the red color because um, the insurance for the car, which are, it belong to the sports model and which are red color. And for them, the insurance cost is mostly uh, on a higher range. Coming to the next point, number three is that get a car or try getting a car which has anti-theft system in it because uh, when you have anti-theft system installed in your car it reduces your insurance cost all right coming to the next point which is when you are preparing for your driving test and uh, that time if you can get a uh, driving uh, certificate what is that called Kari? it's classroom training certificate if you can present that certificate, obviously your cost is involved for that. If you can present that certificate to your insurance company, your insurance cost will definitely go down. Yeah, so it reduces by approximately 10%. Yeah, I have not given that exam, so that's why Gagan knows about it. And uh, so here's a catch of that exam. I want to like clarify that. It's like, uh, what is the cost of the exam? So uh, you technically you don't have to appear for the exam. That is a certificate which your driving institute provides you. So uh, it to me it costed around one eighty dollars. And every month, how much insurance is reduced using that certificate? Uh, around thirty dollars. So it's like three sixty dollars. So it's awesome, almost the double. But some regions are where it has less impact. Not regions, I will say. Some of the insurance company there, the impact is not that much, and it will be like two hundred or two twenty bucks. So that time you can do the judgment whether putting money into the insurance certificate is going to helpful and going to reduce the cost for you. If not, you can choose to pay extra 20 bucks every month. So it's up to you. You make sure you do that calculation. So guys, the next and very important point is get the winter tires. <laughs> so guys, sometimes you might be advised by some of your friends or acquaintances that you just declare that uh, you have winter tires and don't <laughs> invest in it because so many people suggested us that but we didn't go by it because God forbid you get involved in an accident and then uh, that is the winter time and when the insurance company starts their investigation and you don't have your winter tires on, then they are not going to pay you you will be seen as the person who has uh, caused the accident and this may uh, 
increase your insurance cost or they will be revoking their insurance so please be cautious all right guys the next point is to shop around we have made the same point when we talked about getting a new car but this is such an important point because what we do is we usually ask our friends or look at internet or maybe go to our bank and ask them for the insurance cost we very rarely have seen people here shopping around making sure you ask at least three to five providers tell them what's the uh, you know coverage for the car uh, how much we need to pay how it's going to impact in long run for example the insurance provider who gave us the insurance for car gagan asked the first question was if i take insurance from you how will i reduce it in the next year will you be helping me to reduce it so definitely if i am your customer for one year right you have to give me some good deals the coming year or help me to reduce the cost in the next year so shop around any other point you want to add into this yeah and do make sure that uh, if you are taking insurance for a single person so what is the cost and in case you want to add on another person so how much cost is going to increase all right guys the next point i don't know how much you can control this but you can reduce your insurance cost if you go away from the selected regions for example brampton brampton is famous for uh, yeah. you know uh, the highest insurance cost insure the postal code where you are residing makes a huge difference in your insurance cost brampton has the highest cost because uh, it has like lot of accidents number 1 lot of car thefts and if you are uh, living in brampton so i'll suggest don't buy civic because um, the highest rate of theft is on the civic cars this is what i know so that's the reason brampton has the highest cost of insurance and sometimes it is due to people fake accidents and people fake the thefts so due to all those factors uh, the insurance cost is high there and guys uh, uh, some of the people i know they live in brampton but they have given address of burlington or please some of the distant know. areas please don't do that if you know the pros and cons of it and you are thinking of doing that make sure just that you are aware of uh, what can happen if you do this uh, rest like you guys are smart enough uh, to make a decision So guys another way of saving the money on your car insurance is buying your tenant insurance plus car insurance together. So when you are buying an insurance the car insurance uh, definitely if you buy the tenant insurance or home insurance along with it it will also reduce your uh, insurance cost by some 15 to 20 dollars. So guys this is how we saved on our insurance and these all are the tips which uh, we thought to give you in case you are going ahead to buy a car and all these things will definitely help you in saving your car insurance and guys winter is coming in if you guys are coming in this month like september october uh, definitely try to get a car because we have faced it last year around this time we came in the month of september and it gets really cold and uh, make sure you guys take care of yourself uh, buy nice warm jackets and uh, don't be scared to take the driving test in winters so many people will tell you there will be snow you will fail and guys gagan is here she is the evident here that uh, you know snowstorm doesn't hamper your driving test i think the test which she passed was actually the day when there was a really bad snowstorm yes that was one of the biggest snowstorm and i remember that they cleared the highways and all the roads just because wherever your driving center will be it is going to be on the major intersection and the government here is so good that they always take care of cleaning the major intersections as soon as it snows so don't worry about it if you want us to make a separate video on it and you want gagan to share her experience of clearing the driving test please put in the comment section below and we'll make sure we'll make a video on it and guys if you like this video please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching this video guys see you in the next one till then take care and bye bye, -bye.